What's up guys, McCaddy here and today we guys a brand new team builder video Well, what we're going to be doing is building around Holucha, a swords dancing substitute set with the Unburdened and Citrus Berry So if you guys are excited for this, don't forget to leave a like down below, I would really really appreciate it So we'll quickly run through the set and then obviously start building the team from there So uh, this is a set that's uh, a Smogon set, very very standard We've got 12 HPs and uh, 12 in HP, which basically means that we reach 300 HP and for uh, our Citrus Berry to activate after two subs, basically uh, you needed a, a HP number divisible by four. So this is the minimum amount of EVs you need in there to uh, get that you know number that's divisible by four, basically. We've got 244 in attack and then absolute max speed here. So this guy's designed to outspeed most of the metagame. Sub up and sub up a couple of times. Hopefully get an SD up if you do preserve the sub for at least one turn. And uh, basically sweep teams from there because with the unburdened boost, we reach like 700, over 700 speed, which nothing's going to be out outspeeding us. And uh, we're basically good to go from there with only things like priority being a uh, big, big problem. So... I'm really excited to use this set. I've never really used Holutra, I must have. I've always slept on it. So uh, I'm really excited to give this guy a go in a live. So what we'll, we'll do is we'll do the team builder. And then um, you give me suggestions on how to improve it. Nickname suggestions and stuff like that. And then we will go and do a live uh, probably the week after or something like that. So I've been having a think about what teammates could go really, really well with Holutra. And basically what we need to do is design a team that's basically going to stop any problems uh, you know, causing Holuch to not sweep, basically. So there's things like Thunderous with Prankster, um, Talonflame as well with, um, with its, uh, Gale Wings and things like that. Uh, things like Defensive Clefable can be a huge problem to try and get past, and also Unaware as well. So we need to have a think about ways to be able to beat those. And one Pokemon that seemed to work really well, in my mind, synergetically, is Gengar. Um, because Gengar handles a lot of the things that uh, are meant to check Horlucha and stuff like that, and uh, can hit them incredibly hard, as I said, things like the fairy types and stuff like that. So we're going to go for uh, the standard OU set. I apologise if you're hearing something in the background. Uh, I'm going to go for the Life Orb set with... Uh, I do quite like Taunt, or I could go Destiny Bond. Um, at the minute, I quite like Taunt because it stops setup and it means you, means you can 1v1 chances and stuff like that, which is always really, really nice. Now, um, another part of our offensive core, which uh, I've heard is meant to be really, really good, is Mega Gardevoir. Because Mega Gardevoir has the advantage that it basically is a massive lure for things like Chanseys and Blissies, which Horlooch can set up on and uh, basically do huge amounts of damage with High Jump Kick and Acrobatics. And uh, by being able to sort of eliminate those threats, Gardevoir is basically able to sort of then do its job and uh, continue wall breaking from there. So two really, really powerful wall breakers to help. Holucha sweep from there. So let's let's have a look and see what sort of set they recommend. We could go for the taunt set, but I do quite like the uh the will o wisp on this guy because it does help a lot. Um let's have a look. Why do they say uh let's see set details? Why do they say the will o wisp? <coughs> oh, I see, because that helps with Bisharp and stuff like that, which is really, really nice. Especially when Bisharp's such a big problem with Gengar. Uh I'm actually quite tempted by that Will O Wisp. So let's let's go for Will O Wisp. Um we've already got a uh, kind of an answer to, you know, the, the um, what's we call it, the big blobs with, pink blobs with uh, Horlucha. Obviously, we can't really reliably switch in, but we can, we can design Pokemon that we'll be able to switch in. So, that shouldn't be too bad from there. So, we've got a really, really nice offensive core from here. So, what we need is some sort of defensive core, and at the minute, Sizzle is looking pretty bad for our team, because at the minute, uh, it can bullet punch both the Gengar, the Gardevoir, and also the Horlucha after the Unburdened Boost. So we want something that can be able to switch in almost all the time and capitalize on that. And I think that's going to be Volcanion. Uh, I'm a big set fan of the Assault Vest Volcanion set. I know people prefer Specs, but uh, I personally prefer the Assault Vest set. We have Steam Eruption, uh, Fire Blast, um, Earth Power, and Sludge Wave. So this gives us a, a check to um, things like Azumarill as well, which also has priority to hit all of these guys relatively hard. So, uh, we're going to go for Sludge Bomb on there. <coughs> With max special attack, we go for a modest nature. And then I speed creep up to... Uh, I normally try and go for like 212, because I think a Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash, how much do you do if you're, if you're defensive? 208. So, that allows you to outspeed a tiny bit invested min speed Rotom Wash. And then the last amount in HP as well. So, being able to hit outspeed Rotom is also really nice because you can go for, uh, you know, things like the Sludge Bombs and stuff like that. Which actually do a respectable amount to Rotom, so uh, should be pretty good. It gives me a switch into powerful Water-type moves, which I haven't really got 
at the minute. So that's really, really nice. And uh, yeah, what else can we go for as part of our defensive core or even more offensively? So one thing that's looking spooky is things like, as I said, like Thunderous, um, Mega, what's it called? Mega Manetric and stuff like that. So we want something to check those spooky electric types. And one thing that could actually work is uh, if we went for Reiku. Because Reiku allows us to basically have a Volt Turner that can allow us to Volt Switch into Gengar or Guard of Wild, get massive hits off, even into Volcanion as well, which is really, really nice. So we're going to go for a... Actually, I like this Salt Burst set, I think, uh, because that allows us to tank the hits better. We don't hit as hard, I must admit, which I don't particularly like, um, but I still think it's going to be worth it. Hidden Power Ice. We could also bluff being Choice Scarfed as well, or even Choice Specs if they don't see the damage. Um, Volt Switch, uh, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice, and let's see. So we could go extra. We already got Guard of War for um, extra sensory and stuff like that. So we could go Shadow Ball, and I quite like Shadow Ball because um, that allows me to check more of the Psychic types, um, especially Bulky Mew, which uh, outside the Gengar could put, could form a little bit of a problem. So having something that can hit uh, Bulky Psychic types could be quite nice. What other options have we got? We've got Extra Sensory. I, we've already got the Guard of War, so I'm not too fast um, about that. Uh, overall, I think that <coughs> might be the best way to go. Because we can't go for um, Aura Sphere, because otherwise we've got to go for really stupid nature. And uh, I don't think it's worth it just for that nature. And we'll put the last four in there. Uh, that's all got our EVs in there. That's great. Okay. I'm just making sure we're using all of our EVs for all of these spreads. Okay. So... We still need something to be able to ideally provide rocks and also get rid of rocks if we need to. So let's have a look. So we could go for something like Scarf Excadrill uh, or even Bulky Exa could work because we could go Excadrill. We've got two ground immunities, so I don't mind having an extra ground weakness. But what we might do is I might make this actually Spadef with Air Balloon because that gives us some more bulk. It pairs fairly well with Volcanion, uh, with Volcanion being able to take a lot of hits directly at uh, Excadrill. Excadrill, if it's Air Balloon, um, will be able to take any of those hits. So we could go for the bulky spinner set, but put the Air Balloon on there. And uh, I quite like the idea of that with uh, Stealth Rock. Instead of Toxic, we'll go Stealth Rock on there. So this gives us a Rocker. It gives us Bulk. Uh, we've got Mold Breaker as well, so we can hit things like Rotom really hard, which... Uh, could potentially wall the whole loot shit and stuff like that. So we're going to go uh, Stealth Rocks on here. So it's like a more supportive set. But still should hit pretty hard with 307 um, attack. So I think that's going to be the team. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let me know in down below uh, basically how you want me to change it. If there's any adjustments to the sets and stuff like that. Or even Pokemon and uh, any glaring weaknesses. But from what I can see, it's looking pretty solid from, uh, from here. We've got... We do have a... Let's see, predominance of special attackers, but uh, we are able to take out the the uh, special walls, especially with um, Gengar being there. Horlucha sets up over all of the pink blobs, which is nice. So I, I think they could be a bit of a problem late game, but I think if we play our cards right, it should be okay. So anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.